What is going on guys? We are back with another video today and we are doing another blast from the past video on Madden 20 and this time it is of the Legion of Boom from Madden 15 technically the 2014 season. Now some of the ratings are going to be a little you know off the top of the head. I had a uh, you know ratings I went off of but some of them were a little bit lower than I expected. Uh, a lot of you guys once again did suggest this. So, if you like it, maybe like leave a like on it. Subscribe if you're new. I don't know. Also, it was supposed to snow really badly uh, this weekend. And so far, it has turned into rain. And I am in a pretty good mood about that. I love snow, but I hate having to move it. So, let's take a look at the ratings. Uh, some of these have been bumped a little bit, of course. Earl... Is that what Earl Thomas looks like in the game? EA. Like, I traded for him from the Ravens. Okay, yay. Okay. We upped his hit power a little bit. Of course, his speed and excel and agility are all the exact same from Madden 15. Uh, bumped his zone and man. Um, actually, no, his man was the same. Zone a little bit higher. I think some of the stats are a little bit lower, like his pursuit and tackle might be a little lower. But yeah, some of the ratings are a little low for my liking, so it is what it is. We went with universal coverage because uh, obviously he wasn't just a zone corner, even though that was where he excelled give him secure tackler and then zone hawk we activated the three main guys the free the strong and the cornerback spot because that's technically what the legion of boom was it was the defender uh the dbs uh 87 speed for cam i believe in the game they only had him at 84 speed so i had to bump him a little bit because everything's faster now especially in madden uh zone coverage 95 they only had him at like 84 you know he was going to get nowhere near the overall that they had him at uh, 84 man is what they had him at, which was really weird to me. 99 hit power, I think they had him at 97, but I seen him play. He hurt everyone, you know, I'm I, 99. Tackling 91, Pursuit 89. I think these ratings are completely fair. It's just, you know, they're a little bit better than uh, EA's ratings for Madden 15, so hopefully no one's mad about that. We gave him Enforcer so he can hit stick people, and they can't bust off of it, so he might be... The most fun we'll have, well, it's not even, it might be, he will be the most fun we have. Uh, his head looks like freaking uh, Rashawn Evans. Uh, secure tackler, uh, increased uh, tackle on whatever kind of tackle you want to do. And then reinforcement, of course, fits the most in my opinion. Uh, we made the other guys X-Factors, even though it doesn't really matter. It's it's just for the title, really. Richard Sherman, we didn't change the age because it doesn't matter to us. 98 man, 99 zone, 91 speed, 94 excel. Agility is at 96. 82 catching, 98 jumping. Those are pretty much, I think those are exactly what he had in the game. Press is a little bit higher than the game. Tackling might be a little bit higher than the game, which just makes no sense, I think. Uh, you know, he was, no, it was that, but it was lower than now tackling, which makes no sense at all. Uh, hit power 72 might have bumped that and then the rest i didn't change awareness and play rec might be a little bit higher as well because once again i wanted to get them to their overalls brandon browner 22 ironically the youngest one of the bunch is brandon browner even though he was by far the oldest starting player because he started his career like 27 still amazing that he made the, you know got in the nfl played pretty damn well for a guy that kind of a long shot you know slow you know not typical for the cornerback spot Boom, you know, 88 speed, 91 excel, 92 at zone coverage, 85 man. This one was the one I free balled a little bit more uh, just because I don't even think he should have been on the roster. Actually, no, was he in 2014? I think he was on the Seahawks 2014. Byron Maxwell, a guy that bounced around teams a lot late in his career. These are actually his exact stats, I believe, except once again, I raised the hit power and press. Just because I wanted them to actually be dominant like their real live selves. I don't know if I showed Browner. Of course, the uh, X-Factor ability doesn't even matter anyways. Unfakeable. And then Browner has... What did he have? Zonehawk with Unfakeable. Jeremy Lane doesn't really matter, but here he is in case you wanted him. Everyone looks like Rashawn Evans. Okay. Okay, dude. Uh, and then Jerron Johnson, youngster at the time. Just about exact his ratings, 87 hit power and all that. So, there is the Legion of Boom. Of course, they still have Bobby Wagner, which is kind of a cool thing. Playoffs time, which we had to force our way into. Uh, here are the, you know, the force wins. We were a 3-5 and five to, Well, we. They were a 3-5 and five team. I am not a Seahawks fan, and don't you dare mistaken me for one. Yeah, not great stats at all. This is a very fitting one. It's going to be obvious who we're going to play against. 
the timing is you know perfect for real life the time period in game is you know perfect it's obviously going to be the Packers without a doubt there's no question about it any sack totals so what were the forced fumbles like 99 hit power hits forced fumbles of only two really any touchdowns no I mean, we got some numbers. You know, normally the AI doesn't even come close to this, but four for Earl, four for Maxwell, three for Sherm, two for Chancellor. Hell, Bobby Wagner's number four. Nobody, you know, technically, once again, it was, the LOB was the secondary. However, let's be honest, Wagner was a part of it. Like, he was he was that dude. Come on, now. If he wasn't a part of it, you like, get the hell. You know, if he's not a part of it, then suck it, LOB. You didn't get anyone on the list, you know? See, DB. Earl, Maxwell, Sherm. Interesting, interesting. Almost got the kicker of the year. It has to be done. It just has to be done. And it hurts my feelings as a Packers fan, but it, it just has to be. Here it is. Hopefully the weather's all right. Oh, it's looking good. Thank you, 12s. Aaron Rodgers, number 12, right? Am I right? No? Okay. Should be a good one Sunday, though. I, uh... I would say I can't wait, but at the same time, uh, the Packers are, this season, kind of feel like a New England Patriots team, where it's just like, yeah, you made it, congrats, bro, but you don't look as good as you think you are, and ironically, they have Marshawn Lynch back, which is just good timing, I like it, it looks it looks good, it just looks good, I'm trying to think of what team was better, 2014 or this, offensively, right now, the Packers are looking troublesome in their own bad way. But, of course, playing that 2014 team, that defense was a lot better than right now, Seahawks. So, it's going to be an interesting one. It's going to be, you know, today is going to be interesting. You know, Sunday is going to be interesting. I'm excited. I'm worried. But that's not the point of the video. Thank God they don't have the Legion of Boom. I would just be like, yeah, I'm not even going to watch it Sunday. <laughs> but let's take a look. We get to play defense first as well. Nice. So, we have Brown on that side. He looks gigantic. Earl, Cam, oh. Oh god, this is this is scary good. I already take a terrible angle with Cam. Alright, who do they think they are? Who do they think they're oh Bobby, get out of the way. Oh my god, Bobby. Bobby, you know what's gonna be the sad part about this video? Bobby's gonna take over the video. It's gonna it's not a question about it. He's going to take over. There's so many people to use. Damn it, Earl. We uh we raised their run blocking or run blocking. We raised their pass blocking to 100. We raised their catching to 65. So this should be a pretty fair fight. We raised our tackling to like 60 just so we can get better hit stick chances. Jesus, could they like not go short every time? Probably should have. Uh, I guess you kind of have to like play it. Really, Sherman? You got Earl or Earl Cam Chancellor coming up, and you you do that? Of course, there might be sleeves on players that shouldn't be. I made everyone proper. I think you guys seen that in the loading thing, but it doesn't really matter to me. I'm not gonna keep reloading to get five different players the exact like thing. Maybe I'm completely stupid on how to do it. Inside, fellas, is there no? So the Legion Boom just sucks. Uh, what are you doing? I'm running, man. Press, man. Come on, fellas. Browner on... Oh, Devontae's going to torch him. Watch. They're off the edge. Was that Ezekiel? There he is. Screen. Get out there. There you go, Max. The best play made by the LOB today. <laughs> yes. We did it. I want to get some hits with Cameron. Oh, my God, Maxwell. Oh, my God, Maxwell. They're literally 7 for 7 on the LLB. How much help do these guys freaking need? I'm stuck on Al Woods. Inside, Sherman gets burned by MVS. What in the world is going on? If it is in real life, the game, this game started out really well for the Packers on offense. There you go, Cam! Okay, Ben, don't break. I like it. Just like real life, too. I'm pretty sure it was like Packers drove down pretty quickly early on, and then Rodgers threw a 50-50 uh, ball pick to Jordy Nelson to, to on Sherman. So I'm going to go with Earl because uh, Devontae is kind of cooking. Oh, my God. Bobby is so good. KJ Wright. Okay. All right. KJ, all right, mate. 
And we miss what can't. What in the world is going on? The real life LB seen this, they'd be they'd be sh ashamed. They'd be ashamed. Well, I don't really care what Jeremy Lane thinks, to be honest. But oh my God! But once again, Bobby is easily the. Uh, I'm gonna count Bobby and the Legion of Boom because he was literally the Boom as well as Cam and Earl. But yeah, it's it's clearly the best of the video is gonna be Bob. There you go, Browner, all over it. Screen. Sherm, fight it. Oh, there you go, Maxwell. Maxwell's doing really well in the run support. All right, Earl. Don't worry about the other side of the field, man. This is the one you got to cover. Oh, my God. I just had a freaking vertigo. I just had an attack on my brain. If Ye could not do that next time, that would be much appreciated. Just saying. We got to get a force fumble with Cam or it's just a fail. And we just missed. It's so hard to make an open field tackle because... Even when you're right on them, the game doesn't give me any damn animations. There you go, Sherm. Lock that down. Punt. There we go. Finally showing we can do things. Locking down. Okay, this is our chance to hit. Take that shot deep. Cam's ready. Great coverage. Coverage stack. We'll count that as a win for the LOP. It's a cold night. It's probably going to be colder in real life. I can tell you right now, I know I'm not in the north of Wisconsin, but... It is windy as hell. Sherm, Bobby, somebody. <laughs> Good D, but come on. We're making him go backwards now. Another screen. Get out there, big fellas. Blocking's decent, but we do converge all the DBs. Press man. Oh, we're not ready for this. Rogers is all the time in the world. But it doesn't matter because the coverage is locked down. Last second blitz. They kind of caught us off guard, but yet we still did the job. Earl and Cam switching sides now. Oh, right up the middle. Of course, he ran away from him. Why wouldn't you? But still, he gains five. Get a press off Browner. Maybe not. Oh, my Lord. Look at the blocking. Huge hit by Cam. There you go. There you go, Cam Chancellor. Oh, come on, Browner. You got to get that pick, pal. And Chancellor, let's get a hit. There you go, Browner. Third and one. You got to remember that. And I literally just remembered it just now. Oh, great cut back there. Damn. I completely forgot about it. I was like wondering. I was like, wait a minute. Why are we struggling? And I completely forgot. They have 100 pass blocking. So, really, this is built for hit sticks and interceptions, not for locking down. Which I suppose that's, you know, you don't get the name Legion of Boom. If you don't really, fellas, there's a reason why I took the outside lane because there was four of you on the left. The fact that we're actually even getting pass rush in general is actually pretty impressive. Come on, I set up the huge hit there. Sherman Cam have been pretty good. Byron's been really good, actually. Once again, all the time in the world. And why did he stop... Byron Maxwell lied to me. I really should not have raised their pass block slider because now it just looks like we're a trash defense. But it's all right. Oh, my Lord, Maxwell. He just completely knocked out a six foot seven wasted talent. There you go, Bobby. I need a hit stick fumble there, though. Don't get me wrong. I like the effort, but, you know, I need a fumble. We got Devontae doubled. Throws it away. Interesting decision there. Might have to start punting it. Try to make it closer as well. They're not ready for the ball. Let's see this punt. All right, Michael Dick, son. Look how fast he is. Thought he picked it up with the nub. That would have been very interesting. He might have, to be fair. Double-handed it. Du well, yo. Um, yeah, that wasn't meant to be a joke. <laughs> kind of thought of it after. He's going to take that on Sherm, or Sherm, Cam? Cam Chancellor is the best out of everyone so far. There's a hold. Almost picked by Maxwell. How do you get a hold with 100% pass block sliders? Let's go with Sherm. Let's see if we can get a user pick. I want everyone to get a pick or a force fumble on this roster. Oh, my lord. Devontae almost just got cheap shotted. There you go, Earl. Oh, my God. Did he almost just one-hand that? Jesus. Look at this. 
Could you imagine this? This would be a great thumbnail if he actually caught it. Not that I would want him to, but I'm just saying. Well, then again, you can't really ac account for how trash I am at the game. There you go, Sherm! L-O-B! But, I mean, tell me, look at this. How do you play Madden this year? This isn't an animation. Like, we almost accidentally... Like, in real life, he would have actually lost the ball. Because we accidentally just took it off him. Then the D-line. Oh my god! Okay, Earl, that's what I want to see every snap, every time. Cam, I'm just going to let him do it. Damn it. I want to see what, you know, what these X factors would be like on their own. You know, I could easily turn around and probably pick that. But I want to see, like, what does the X factor do on their own? See? I mean, looking pretty good in coverage. And Sherman backs off of it. Once again, this is 100% blocking. So, any sack we get is just pure dominance, you know, in the secondary. Earl's playing perfect coverage. Chancellor baits it out. What a play by Cam, man. These guys are balling. Cam's so big. Get out of the way. He's not fast. Ah, he, That's all I'm going to end it at. He's just not fast. <laughs> Simply put. It'd be really nice to get Sherman involved in this, uh, this X Factor in the zone party. Oh, my God. Cam is... Cam has taken over the video. Now, like, once again, like I will say, uh, I think he was easily primed to be the most fun. But at the very same time, I did not expect it to be in every aspect of the game. <laughs> he's he's kind of just balling out. Oh, my God. The amount of booms in this Legion. Damn, Bobby, you just got torched by a wide receiver that's fast. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. For some reason, I thought it was uh, like a tight end. Underneath. Look at Earl! Damn it, son! Not gonna lie, as with pretty much every video of this style as of late, the, the video starts off really slow and it's like, ooh, what the hell? You know, why did we do this? Oh, wrong way. I was gonna go for the bait that I thought it was gonna be an in round. I got burned, to be honest. But yeah, now it's, uh, it's heated up to a full set of degrees. Damn it. Oh, look at the hit from... Oh! Sherm! Really? Rogers is that fast? There you go, Sherm! Yeah, shush. Shush, you Packers, you losers. What? How is a fumble touchdown not... I don't know why I said words like that. <laughs> That's Jimmy Graham, boys! That is Jimmy Graham in a nutshell. Oh my god, there's... Oh. Do you even understand how happy that makes me feel as a Packers fan? Last season, both of Rodgers' picks, and once again, I can admit that there was some bad throws, you know, the season before, this season, where they should have been picked, right? Which quarterback doesn't have them? But, Jimmy Graham, both of his picks, not this season, but last season, both of Rodgers' picks came off of Jimmy Graham's hands. Just saying. Just saying. Stuck on the damn DT again for like the 400th time this video. Yeah, you should be happy you fell down. With your history of fumbling, Geronimo, you should be happy. Okay, like I just ran right into him for a hit stick and they're like, nah, mate, you missed. Which I didn't. I mean, I kind of did, but I didn't. It's kind of brutal. Like, I don't know how good that ability is for Cam. Like, maybe he forces fumbles every time, but... 15 yards? It takes, fi like, they're 10 yards, and then you r run out? Get out of my way. Oh, my Bobby. Isn't there an ability that you get unlocked if you... I guess, to be fair, he's not in the zone. He probably would have had it by now, but... Where if you, uh, hit stick people, you get unlocked? Oh, he's... That was a pick. That was a pick. Get out of the way. Earl, come on, pal! If we can hold them to zero touchdowns... With 65% run ca uh, catching, wide receiver catching, and 100 pass blocking. That's a win. Oh, you got to pick that, Bob. Bob. Bob, build me a defense. All right, everyone, back up. Not a chance. Not a cam chancellor. We're actually user, Bob. 
Get that. Maxwell. Sherman just made an amazing play. Press man. Ooh, Jimmy on Bobby. Bobby Browner. Somebody comes up with this, right? They're going to call P.I. on us. I didn't know holding Y means you should assault the freaking uh, receiver. Oh, you got to stay in bounds there, Jimmy, so we can destroy you. Chancellor's going to get burned. Or just locked down. Oh, my Bob. Why is Bob just, like, slapping the ball away? Come on. He drops it. Good job. We we had the outside that we needed to cover, but at the same time, inside was definitely a threat. They're going to actually... Okay, Cam, you're going to have to block this because they're actually kicking a field goal. I guess to be fair, technically, it's the right move. Damn it. That sucks. I want to block. Right, last drive to get something done. Can we get Earl in the zone as well? Let's get all three of them in the zone. There's nowhere to go. Roger's going to get coverage stacked on 100 pass block sliders. Wow. And I was supposed to cover D, but everyone just played perfect man, so I didn't need to. Okay, okay. I tried to go for the bait, and I missed it, but what is wrong with this game for, like, common sense tackling? I freaking Marcus Williams this thing. Look at this. Look, it doesn't, it, it engages me here, and it doesn't do anything. My guy's just watching his legs. Like, look at him, look at his legs. Got a foot fetish or something. Obviously, it wasn't for all the big play blunders. Okay, we're... Bobby. Bobby, Bobby, Bobby. Bobby, Bobby. Bobby, Bobby, Bobby. Why do you feel the need to be the way you are? We have one rusher. He throws it there. Cam! You son of a gun! Okay, this is one of the weirdest ones we've ever had. Of course, with 100 pass blocking sliders, I don't know why I thought that was a good idea. I just wanted them to actually throw the ball rather than, like, clowny just busting free. But not bad. 400 yards from a lockdown game, which is weird to say, but it's a lockdown. And it kind of reminds me of the almost Dak Prescott game against the Packers this year where there was people wide open, but it was just like it didn't matter. You know, like the offense did that. That's all they did, and we locked them down to 16 points, and really only nine because there was a couple of blunders that we had trying to go for the big play, which we didn't need to, but... I mean, let me know if you guys want to see in the future defense where we just play good coverage, no fumbles, no no picks or anything, you know? Maybe my username was a little off in this game, but at the same time, that's just the way Madden has been this year. Cam with four interceptions, the forced fumbles definitely went from... Really? Really? Two? I feel like we had way more than that. Yeah, it wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be, but at least Cam Chancellor had a day, right? Right? Hello? Super Bowl versus the Ravens. This is going to be a smattering because this is the first game for a long time where they didn't get any help. Never mind, they win. <laughs> Let's take a look at the uh, the actual the first game as well, not just the last game. We took two because I had to turn the fatigue down. I forgot to mention that, but obviously in this series we turned the fatigue off so then you can actually see the players, especially in this one where we feel like we didn't get any time with the ball. Richard Sherman. There you go. Defensive ones with all these different defenders. You definitely need as much time as you can get with them. Sack totals. One for Bobby. He had a pick as well. Nice. And he forced fumbles. Richard Sherman. All right. Sherman getting involved, uh, you know, quickly and often. That's the same thing. But, and actually, no, it's not. But if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Twitter, John Care. There might have been a poll up for the Niners franchise. I've been debating things, and I know we had the light goal, but I'm just starting to think of how good the team is. And I don't know. I don't know. We'll we'll have to see what you guys want to see. But there could be a pull up for the Niners. I don't know. Maybe there will. Maybe there won't. I'm just I'm so conflicted. January is such a terrible month for YouTube. It just it just makes me think about things. And yeah, I don't know. It is what it is. If you guys have a suggestion for this video series, let me know in the comment section below. I don't think I have one that's like a must do. Right now, I'm, I'm trying to think of one, what like what could be next. I have a couple of more like double ones, really cool idea. Also, what do you think is gonna happen on Sunday? Packers win or the Seahawks win? What do you what do you guys think? Maybe we'll do a, a poll as well for that. We'll just do a bunch of polls. I'm a stripper, but yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. If you enjoy, like I said, do all those things. Follow me on Twitter, Drumpy Care. I don't know if I mentioned that. And yeah, hope you guys come back for next video. Should be one later today. But until next video, see ya.